Hello all, this is a recording of this week's 15 minute forum based on break time catch ups. So if you're struggling to get students to complete work to the deadlines that we're setting, I couldn't recommend uh, break time catch ups enough. So first of all, I thought I'd show you uh, what some of the students say about having experienced break time catch ups with me um, for a year because these were second years. So the way that it works is um, my homework's already set on Google Classroom. So the day before the homework is due, I text the group and let them know there's homework due tomorrow at half past nine and remind them that if it's not done, they'll stay in during break time to get all caught up. The next morning, um, if I remember, <laughs> I check my Google Classroom uh, before the lesson and anyone who hasn't still done it, I just text again and remind them it's not done. We stay in during break time to get all caught up. Then five minutes before break, and I always break at exactly the same time, because I think routine's really important, but five minutes before we break, they'll do a quiz, um, and then I will check who hasn't done it, and just just assume that they've handwritten it. Um, always assume that they've done it, but it's just not been put on the classroom, or they haven't submitted it yet. Um, and then anyone who hasn't done it, they literally just stay in during break time, so I don't ask for why they haven't done it. I just go, no, not a problem, let's catch up during break time. And then during break time, mine are always YouTube videos of modelled exam questions. I literally just play the video and then they sit there and get it done. So quite a lot of the videos are about 15 or 20 minutes long. And my break time is 20 minutes in a two and a half hour lesson. If they're longer, they've at least broken the back of it. Um, sometimes one or two might say, can I go to the toilet? And I say, well, just, just do this one first for me. And then I might give them the last two minutes to just nip to the loo. If they're late back from break, if any of my students are late back from break, they owe me the time at the end of the lesson, so they don't get to take their own break as well. Um, I thought it's important for you to see on my Google Classroom a result of doing the break time catch-ups, um, so you can see all that work is handed in. Any here, the late ones, are the students who had to stay in during break time and submitted late. These obviously still get a text time, still text parents, during the break time while they're doing it for me and let them know that they haven't done the homework. Um, if you're wondering about the missings, those students would have missed the lesson. So still text them when they've missed the lesson to ask if they're okay, text their parents and let them know that I haven't seen them and I wanna know that they're okay. Um, and that obviously the homework is still outstanding. But it has had a really positive impact upon the completion of work with the students. And if I come back to their student voice about how it really motivates them to get it done, it's really helpful. So I would argue that in a two and a half hour lesson, uh, that time is entirely ours. So it's perfectly reasonable to ask them to catch up during break time or get them to. Um, I would really recommend them. If you haven't done them, I would really, really, really recommend them. Um, and I think it's perfectly reasonable, set them up, as teachers, we normally use, so I would say that break time to just get the register done, get it prepped for the next half of the lesson, pop to the loo, come back, check they're there. Um, but yeah, it's it's really, really valuable. So I'd strongly recommend it. If you haven't tried them before, um, I would definitely give it a go if you're struggling to get certain students to meet those deadlines or have those behaviours for learning. Thank you.